if Republicans take, oh, here's the politics. If Republicans take Congress and presidency in 2020, is real deregulation spending cuts possible? Or would split government be better should the two likely Supreme Court nominees, Ginsburg by retiring, encourage Republican voting? Um, so, no, I mean, Republicans had the House and the Senate uh, in the first two years of the Trump administration. Did they do real deregulation? No. There were no deregulatory bills passed in Congress. Did they cut spending at all? No. Quite the contrary, they increased spending. Did they repeal Obamacare? No. So there's no reason to believe that a Congress and presidency 2020 being all Republicans would lead to anything particularly positive. In, in, in the contrary, I think what you'd ultimately get is some kind of universal health care. And what you'd get is the massive infrastructure bill that Trump keeps promising us. And you'd get continued government spending through the roof. Now, I also think it's pretty unlikely that Republicans can take Congress in 2020. Certainly the Senate I actually think Republicans have a good chance of losing the Senate, even if Trump gets elected president. Just, you just look at the, the map of, of what is up for grabs. So you get divided government in that sense. The divided government, though, of Trump and Democrats is not a good divided government. That is probably the worst kind of divided government, because think about it. What is the result? The result is a NAFTA... 1.1 or 1.2 or 2.0, however you want to think about it, a new NAFTA, significantly worse than the old NAFTA because the Democrats stepped in and said, if you want our support for NAFTA, here are the provisions you have to add. And Trump, A, doesn't care about those provisions, provisions having to do with labor and environmental regulations in Mexico. He doesn't care about those, so he said, okay, and he needs them to vote because he needs a win on trade, so it made the deal much, much worse, much, much worse for American producers, much, much worse for Mexicans, much, much worse for Americans to inflict our awful labor and environmental regulations on Mexico. I want the Mexican regulations inflicted on us, not the other way around, particularly labor regulations. Somebody says women are destroying the West. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Last I saw, men are destroying the West. I mean, almost all the intellectuals out there are men. All the Marxists out there that I know, not all of them, but a significant majority of them are men. A majority of the politicians are men. A majority of people who are anti-free speech are men. A majority of the people who are white supremacists are men. A majority of people on all sides of the political spectrum, on the, on the kind of wacky political spectrum, are men. Men are destroying this, and men are using women as an excuse to destroy it. And yes, there's some wacky women. Welcome to reality. You guys are nuts. All right. Um, I mean, I'll go back to the best split, the best split in terms of government spending, the best split in terms of regulations is uh, a Democratic president and a Republican House and Senate. If you could pull that off, that would be ideal. For now. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. Using the Super Chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, Please take this opportunity. Go to youronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, Show. 
and um, and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next.